Hello and welcome guys, welcome back to another FIFA 15 Ultimate Team video and today's squad is around the Serbian monster. This formation for triple two, like I wouldn't say I'm the most comfortable with but it's nice to explore like different formations and definitely be trying out new players. So hopefully from today's video uh, I'm going to maybe persuade you to try at least two players in this side, definitely. Like if you can pick them up from the market that is as well. So if you do enjoy these types of videos please do drop a like and if you are needing some really cheap ultimate team coins and fifa ultimate team coins.com is your place go and use my code fuji for five percent off and if you need game codes or anything game related check out g2a links also down there in the description are you ready to get into the side because we have the serbian machine and the monster well machine monster who do you think it is before i actually uh, yeah it's, it's it's mitrovic where is he it's mitrovic he is now a newcastle player but this version is obviously his team of the season at andelect and i didn't realize like i'm not trying to be biased because he has made the move to newcastle i'm a newcastle fan yes but I didn't realize he was going to be this clinical in front of goal. And the clips will show you. Like, they will back me up on this. So, uh, yeah, really, really happy with the way he was playing. But just to go through the side, it is in uh, 4 triple 2 Like I said, we've got Aguero at the top. And this partnership, you've got a tall guy, a target man, and you have a small player. Qu quick, rapid, perfect. That's sort of like your traditional uh, attack, really. Very well balanced. We've got Telemans uh, in here, and something about these two uh, cams, like you've got Zuccolini, which is his transfer card, and you've got Tele Telemans, Telemans. Uh, one thing I will say is definitely, if you are going to, well, if you're wanting to pick these two up once I sort of review the squad at the end, then play them more in a central formation. Like, they don't like to be out wide, like they don't have pace, and that's one thing I've noticed with the 4 triple two is if you do, if, if you sort of, someone that kind of rushes your attack as well like i do it sometimes is you're gonna need a little bit of pace out wide and these two don't offer you that so it may be a little bit difficult at times but moving over to the cdm spots when we got a foe and yaya Torre. whoa this per this pink card is actually like broken it's so good uh but moving over to the defense we've got tishi manga the pacey guy 92 pace he's pretty awesome siman that i did say that i wanted to build like a hybrid around because he's a good uh, defender and I have done. This is the squad. Uh, company. Darmian. The transferred card that's extinct. He's a good player, actually. I thought he was going to be a little bit quicker. But he keeps his position well. Nice tackling. A little weak at times. But still a good player. And then to finish it off, we have the Tortus. Courtois. No, I don't even know why I said that. It's Courtois in goal. So, yeah. It's a pretty good side. Uh, but, yeah. Let's go and see how many goals the Serbian monster managed to score for me. Boom. Let's go. So, the Serbian monster. Mitrovic managed to score seven goals in the five games that I did play picking up one assist like one assist is okay uh, I, don't, I wasn't really expecting him to be sort of a I guess an assist god but the way he does actually play in game like with that 99 heading accuracy especially if you set them out in sort of a traditional formation where you've got one target man and the other guy that's a little bit shorter or just I guess faster that can run in behind once you flicked it on with your head it works very very well and this is what I was doing with the team so for him to actually pick up that many goals he's doing something right and it was just awesome like finishing wise perfect just very strong not as slow as you may think so definitely give him a go he's like twenty thousand coins on the market it may be a little bit difficult to uh, bring him into the side um so yeah if you do enjoy please do drop a like and we're going to go into the clips now and you're going to see the monster in action let's do it so i'm literally going to allow the clips to do all the talking and it will show you what mitrovic is like in action also got a few other goals dropped in there but one thing i will say though with the four triple two formation it's very narrow and for me if i'm going to use it i would much prefer using uh, faster cams which sort of act like wingers otherwise you're going to go into a game with a bold statement suggesting that you're going to attack down the middle and it's for your opponent to uh, sort of deal with it and if you come up against someone with a four two three one or just a very narrow formation with two cdms then yeah it's going to be very very difficult to sort of build up the play and that's what i've put down as the con it's hard to build up from the middle but once you get going then you've got aguero you've got the serbian monster in the attack and you will be getting goals but for the likes of telemans and zuccolini definitely i would play them in a more central formation if you are going to uh, wish to use them telemans is okay nothing special he's not really a player that i would go for not that quick 
Um, not as strong as I would have hoped. And yeah, he hasn't got the four star skills, which doesn't make him and like sort of an exciting player. But Zuccolini is strong. I liked him. But Yaya Toure moving to the CDMs. We've got Afo and Yaya Toure. Never experienced this with any other card. This is disgustingly good. Power, pace. Uh, precision, shooting, everything you can think of, Yaya Torre has been increased, and that's what I thought Yaya Torre would feel like. Not like his other inform cars that weren't that good, but now this one up there with one of the best CDMs. That I've, well, I play him as a CDM because I don't. He's good. He's good as a cam, but as a CDM, I prefer when he sits further back. But to the other players as well, like the team play good. Damian's a nice player, not as strong as I would have hoped again, but nah, he's pretty good. And yeah, it just flowed really, really well. But if you are wishing to pick up Mitrovic, I would definitely put him in maybe uh, a formation with a cam sitting up behind and just offer him a little bit more support. And with that, I think he would just play even better than he did in this side. So if you have enjoyed, please do drop a like and please go and try Mitrovic. But you are going to need him in. A formation where you've got someone up top like someone like Aguero that can uh, feed off of him. So yeah, thank you ever so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Team Fuji, Fujitas, I'm out. Boys.